observed that the potato farming, there are, there are problems through the seeds of having farmers having uh, seeds which are not clean. Therefore, I decided to start producing seeds so that I can assist the farmers uh, so that they can enjoy their farming. We were given the seeds by the Ministry of Agriculture through the, the Agricultural Extension Officer in our area and he came and we formed a group. Me and my mother, we have started a seed uh, production. We, are partner, we have partnered with CIP. They are the people who give us the, the breeder material. We get in, in vitros from CIP Gene Bank, mm -hmm. and then from there we make, we propagate. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we do our mother plants, mm -hmm. then from there we propagate. Eh, uh, Bereni, siku wanajua hali ya viazi, lakini tukaeda samina moja, na nikakuja kuona ya kwapa ukusaji wa viazi ama mbegu una faida tulikonga kaa kikundi tukiwa vijana ndio ma agriculture officers wakakuja area kwetu kutuambia umuhimu wa kupanda viazi tukaingilia pale lakini haikuwa successful cause vijana wengi wanataka ngapi za haraka Salona, mini lijiondo wa pale, ni kubaki peke yangu. Sasa kubaki peke yangu, niliendeleza, hata ka nika plot, ka 50 by 100. Hako ndio uwa na lima, yani na jipati ya riziki pale. Previously I was, I was in, in a former employment, I was working in a bank, and um, I was interacting very much with farmers, and uh, lending them loans, appraising them and from there I was able to identify the opportunity that, that is there especially for me as a young person in which I can be able to engage in farming and even reap profits and also do even greater things apart from whatever I was doing. Certification one is very important because one most of the problems that we are having in potato farishi mm, they are attributed to the seed quality. Yeah, through through certification, some of the diseases are able to be curbed. But for the seed producer, one one has to have enough rad for crop rotation. Then one has to have very clean seed to start off. The youth are mostly kept off because uh, most, mostly the youths don't have the rad. To be a seed producer, you have on lazima uwe na shamba kutoka ikalitano. Na sasa ikalitano, mtonge na wazazi wangu ni one kawa waneza kubali kupatia na shamba kiasi ataka ni pizza ya two acres to three because wazazi ndio uu kata kupatia mayuto wao shamba ilo fanyia kazi. I think from, uh, from our discussion what we've been able to gather is that the youth feel like uh, the parents they are clinging too much to the shambas. They don't want to involve the youth, they don't want to release the, the shambas to the youth so that the youth can work on them. So maybe that's why the parents feel like the youth are not involved or they don't want to. And then at the end of the day the youth still feel that when the parents sell the produce, <laughs> We have two categories of youth. We have youths who are under their parents' uh, care, and we have youths who are beyond the parents' care. Therefore, those two categories will depend. Since if at all you are under your, your parents' care and you are schooling, then you want me to pay you. Is it okay? It can't work. Since I, I'm, uh, when I plant uh, this viazi, I'm looking for your fees. Mm. Then you want me to pay you. The problem in Nakuja, the youth wana 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 potea kwa sababu, 
mimi ume, tumekuja mmeniambia ni di ama mmeniambia huyo mtu adi aliji eh alafu pale kwa chini kwa hizo ex za chini za sales hakuna mshahara wa hizo naona so what happens huyo yule anaona hey and i'm wasting time in this business ya see mm. so the best thing ni kwenda huko nje nitafute kazi nini mm-hmm. na utakuwa unaona huyo yule akienda kwa mipa kufanya kazi mm-hmm. na anaacha yako hapo and that's where we are studying for now tuseme hata vijana wetu wafunzwe kupewa pesa na ambiwe nataka kujua hiyo pesa ni ya ni yeah. what i can say the age of 18 to 35 they have a lot of ambitions mm. the ambitions make make them think that farming is a appearance business or it is a business of people who don't know what they are doing ugana kwenu mnaona sasa kama mko hapa mkiungana mwanze mambo ya kulima mnaona kama mtakuwa mkiito uchaguo sana mtakuwa uchaguo sana you see i funded the son i did everything but he decided to go to be employed in a supermarket mm. since he needs a way to call a job the youth are seeing it they are sidelining this job of farming because of what is finally being gained by their parents ko sasa tuseme unalima na hakuna kitu kizuri kinaingia kwa mfuko we would request our county government at least to construct a cooling plant so that after harvesting these seeds we can store them When the prices are high, the youth will enjoy more selling it at a good price because they don't have so much pressing problems which will make them to sell the seeds immediately after removing them in the shop. You fight uh, most of uh, the young people also not being so settled on what exactly they want to do. Mm-hmm. Today they will say they want to do to grow seeds. Midway they just come across an or they will hear of another opportunity. Mm-hmm and you find their mind is also tends to get diverted mm-hmm. so you find this they, they they write that they lack the general like that full commitment i don't know that all of you have watched the, the mania in everybody being a border border rider mm-hmm. that one uh, and uh, as a uh, production of potatoes is actually mm-hmm. labor intensive mm-hmm. and you see the the guys with the strength are on motorbikes our youths are not patient they want money and the quickest way to get money so to be tired and to wait for those potato to grow and get money they cannot be patient ile nilienda post nitaenda hasara kabisa wenye tulikuwa nao tulikuwa kikundi ya kitu 10 youths walienda karibu wote tulibaki tu watu wawili most of the youth when you go to present yourself being a young person not many people will take you seriously the youth they are so much discouraged i can remember in our 90s i was in class eight mwalimu akakutukuta kwa darasa kama tunafanya makerere tukaitwa nje tukatadikwa akaniuza wewe wa mwisho ungetaka kuwa nini i just said a farmer akanipiga Most of the people when you walk up to my office see they they see as if youths are not of much important among them again they don't give more effort to kwa youth let us teach this attitude even in the learning institutions tell the youth farming as well is is pain so even if they come outside to their society I don't have something in mind even if I lack a white collar job I can do farming at it swell thing the two mama the same hapo that people have always been doing this since we, I was young tumelima tumelima hakuna kitu inatokea ni school fees ni school fees also want to have a white collar job our youth we have spoiled their minds that the farming is a slavery so they cannot even enjoy that's why we are here money for youth It's being returned no one to correct the money there is an issue here they did not become how they are when they were at their homes they were they became how they are when they were under care of their parents and that is why we are saying right now that we don't have young men our young men here 
they are not responsible. How can you expect this uh, young man to become a young, uh, a responsible young father? Therefore, let us under, uh, understand this and uh, agree on this, that we are irresponsible all of us as parents. Personally, I left formal employment and I went into farming and I can see the difference. So the only thing that is needed is for us, the youth, to be encouraged. In forums, our parents to encourage us na kama youth tuchukue kulima ni kazi si ati kuna mtu anasema ukulima sio ushamba it is work and we can do it and we can make it let us come here hapa hapa ndio ki iko hapa wazee utawaona kwa wingi na akiuza anastand kama mwanamume unajua hapa niko nani hapa niko they share 50-50 <laughs> when we go to marketing <laughs> <laughs> they share 50-50 why the home has to have dialogue eh unajua nataka kulipia kama ushure nataka fertilizer nataka nini sio inakuja kwako Mzee anapatiwa, pengine ni harine. Ni kweli ya mafi kweli. By the end of the day, he will be supposed to produce the same, to act as the capital of the next issue. Therefore, he, as the source, as the custodian of the resources of the home, of course he will be supposed to produce finances to cater for these duties that are okay. yeah. and that one is the one you are calling a dialogue and that is not a dialogue nikampatia pesa kama vile uipatiwa kwa sababu ngiketi hapo chini mnaongea hapa ni kwangu na pesa sikikuja ndio mimi nitapangia ukikuja kupanda mbegu nilichagua kwa sababu aliniachia niko nazo eh sina fertilizer sina nini nikikuuliza ulikuja na nini how the, this, the, the issue here has been presented? It has been presented uh, in a way that uh, uh, it was falling on one side. Since the, all the issues here are addressing that men are not responsible. But I think the, the truth of the matter is that they are all at home. They are both at home, the man and the woman and the children. They all contribute towards their success. I would like to urge these men, each and everyone, to go to the nearest shopping centre and do a little bit of research. How many men will you find there, Idori? And how many women will you find there, Idori? <laughs> Even if he is not doing anything, he must start there and see what is harvested. <laughs> of all this work that has been done, and you ladies can tell us, surely, is there no man's contribution towards the capital that attains this kind of business? It is good to appreciate some of those things that are done by these organizers. He must not be seen doing the work. He must not be seen carrying the knapsack. But he will be seen carrying the knapsack if he has provided a workman for that. He must not be seen uh, going and harvesting the potato. But if he has provided money to hire some men who are going to do so. He has done some work. Men are able to take some, 
some loan from the bank to start off. So you find uh, maybe there could be hmm, men who are who are putting in capital in it. But when we come to being in the farm, now the 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 wife is in most cases doing the crop production. Uh, when we go to the culture, the shamas are known to be, to be owned by men. When a woman brings a, a, maybe a stranger or maybe an agriculture officer and starts digging holes from every corner of the shamba, maybe the man will become basak or maybe of, so, of such a kind. Unajua kuna ile kacha ya sisi watu, sujui tasema watu weusi, ya kwamba mwanaume diye kichwa. Na ikiwa mwanaume diye kichwa, yule mwanamuke anapoleta jambo njibia kuliitikia mimi kama mwanaume inakuwa ni mfutano na kwa hivyo kama sisi wote tunge kuwa katika yale mafikira na kuingiwa na ile jambo wanawake wangehusika kwa njia mwafaka sana katika hili jambo la ukuzaji wa familia kama ni pesa tuweke chini hata mimi niko na mahitaji mzee wangu wewe chukua yako niachie yangu si ndio na usione kama mimi sina mpango haki hata niko na yeye kumbu naweza kukufanyia ingine uchangae if it is a business if this is a seed business then it is a business if the man financed then he loaned the business money then mkae chini akua uli 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 muliandika kwa records zenu bibi alifanya manage kwa hivyo apewe pesa zake za manage kwa sababu yeye pia alifanya nini alifanya kazi bwana lazima pesa zake zingeza kwa sababu akua alikuwa ame loan lazima apewe na hii na interest so hata yeye pia apewe interest ya yake so if Everybody anapata mazao ya kazi yake. Then you would be fighting. Unapo anza kukuza viazi kama biashara ya pota ya seed potato. Yaani unapotaka kukuza seed potato as a business, yani ndicho utapata mapato kutoka kwao. Mara nyingi huwa ni ngumu there has not been a, a, a very good marketing policy. The potatoes, uh, maybe for example, that standardization of, of that wheat, that, sh that a, a price should uh, be tagged. So you find uh, the whole thing is haphazard. So that one has really impacted negatively. The farmers, uh, they, don't, they don't trust you. See, they, they think you just come from a neighbor, you are just a neighbor here, then you tell us that you are, you are being recognized as a certified seed grower. They, they, they just think you are, you are just joking. So, in the process, uh, maybe when you think of selling seeds to them, they are not ready to buy. Uh, most of farmers know that the, the, those who buy potatoes, determine the price but now this is these are seeds so they think they will come and say I can purchase this seeds like potatoes but in the real sense seeds are seeds and they are satisfied and they are going to they are sold in packages I've not been able to penetrate the market well not many people are aware of these clean seeds and some of them find the prices to be a bit high and also lack of information uh, we have uh, gone uh, having baladas in the villages and we educate people and tell them that uh, the, that company, the Kagonda Cooperative, is producing uh, green seeds. Therefore, uh, they have now started to understand what, what is going on with the cooperative there. <laughs> ni iko na umuhimu kwa sababu kuuza iko rahisi utakuwa na challenges ya kuuza hata ikiwa challenges they are minimal sio kama hii ndio kwa ati nikiwa peke yangu tukiwa wengi kuuza mbegu inakuwa rahisi kwa hivyo hata tunapokaa pale tukilima 
tutakuwa na tunajulikana mahali fulani kuna kikundi fulani na inakuza bado Hamas they have now started recognizing me especially right now they are calling me they are asking me what, what what are you what what are you doing there and i have told, I, i told them i i, I told them that i'm um, in, in training concerning potatoes now they are so much interested they want to know what about the, these potatoes do you mean these potatoes are not the same potatoes that we produce but now uh, i tell them they they are the same potatoes but they are certified we are now we are in the training to produce certified seeds like the, the seeds that you go to buy from maybe simo and those registered companies. We have also held trainings, two trainings. One was for chiefs and they were around 50 chiefs. If every chief took that information to, to their barazas and all that, I know we have beat so many farmers. The community, after harvesting, uh, whatever is left is what they call seeds. So they, they continue with that, uh, the, the, that history of harvesting, planting, harvesting, planting. Let me talk about almost 100% of the farmers don't know what you're talking about when you talk about policy. Policy is a reserve for Kilimo House and Bunge Huko. It's not material for us at the grassroots. I would say there is still something mm -hmm. missing. Mm -hmm. And I, I think in the future, the seed policy would, would need more involvement mm -hmm. of, the, of the farmers who are the seed users. Mm -hmm. yes. This area, mm -hmm. uh, a research I think has been done, mm -hmm. and uh, most farms are deceased. Seed is a very, impo is a very important input when it comes to agriculture. Mm -hmm. And seed must be controlled and regulated. That policing, mm -hmm. I think it is going to be enormous. Mm -hmm. If a bag, of a kilogram bag is 3,000 shillings, most mm -hmm. of them are not going to buy that. Mm -hmm. yeah. They will still buy, keep their seed for the next season. The key issue has been uh, the, certifi the certification process. Mm -hmm. I think uh, some of the regulations, mm -hmm. they have been an impediment. You have to be registered merchant, you have to pay the 75,000 mm -hmm. uh, and all that. We require a lot of finance so that we can register a group of which we as small scale farmers, we cannot afford this fee for registering. Because of the re re requirement by cases mm -hmm. that for the seeds, to be, for somebody to grow seed, he must be a, a, a registered merchant. Mm -hmm. Then it means that uh, we, we don't have, we have not had farmers who have been registered as, as much as. Mm -hmm. And those who have been growing, they have been growing under the license of car. Okay. They have been supported by car. Okay. So what we have done mm -hmm. is ourselves, once a, a potential group of individuals comes to us, mm -hmm. and if you they want to produce certified seeds, what we do is that uh, we introduce them to to the merchants. When you get a contract with the merchant, you're given the seeds to start off the, the business, the farming business. So at least that one it's worked on and you're able to to continue with farming. Then you are assured of a, of a fixed price. Eh? Once you do all the due diligence to the seeds, you follow all the procedures and you give them back to the merchant, you're assured of a fixed price. Then the market is ready. And then there is free field assessment from CAFIS. This one you are told you know you don't pay only the merchant pays on your behalf. So you are sure that whatever you are doing is the right thing. And also you are given information, there is access of information and there is advice maybe on pest control, disease control, and the other issues that you may come across. Companies when I a contract, when I tengenezea kwa offices zao alafu wanakuja wana present here farmers. So most of the time, farmer analetua kata senye miandikwa na oha hawajakuwa na grievances zao ama shida zao hazija kapchariwa kwa hiyo contract. Uh, most of the times those contract farmers voice have, have been ignored. Kwa government, they have wanna, wanna make sure HCDA is involved for signing the contract. It's CD is an extension officer 
mwenye anadiri na kuangalia contract zenu ziko sawa eh, na nyinyi kama wakulima wa mtakuwa hatutakuwa exploited except possible for somebody who like a car mm -hmm. who, who, who is a who feel that he is in the support of the farm. Mm -hmm. You know a merchant is a business person. Okay. And a business person will not like to have a competitor mm -hmm. <laughs> who is also who is a, whom whom he is holding mm -hmm. as a grower and but he's still acting as a competitor for his mm -hmm. or for his seeds. The merchant can decide to to exploit the farmer by setting a price that will will not be favorable to that farmer. So HCDA and HCDA and extension officers to always be available when these prices are set. Also unclear clauses in signing the contract. The women's strategy is farmers to be educated and consult before before signing the contract. So here the government have HCDS who will come to curb this exploitation. Ndiyo na kopa, sana sana sita tumia hii ya mashant. Ndiyo na kopa tuki tumia ya county government, kwa sababu diyo ina, ina, it is a government. Na when you have contract with the government, ina tufadhiri kwa sababu itaweza wapaye fatraisa, inaweza wapaye begu, na pare muisho, wanakata ile pesa yao wapaya, arafu mimu unajite edereza. I don't know how the government is going to be able to do that. Through the government, we are going to be able to do that. Because we are going to be able to do that. And we If the certification could be done for individual farmers who are willing to, to grow seeds, mm -hmm. and then they just pay for the certification fees, mm -hmm. I believe that it would be much easier for, okay. for them. Yeah, the actual farmers are women. Mm. in this in this area mm. so those policies should uh, actually be tailored to suit the women when you take into consideration the issue of labor uh, this this is labor intensive mm. and uh, lifting those bags and all that and then that's why you would think one of the policies should be mechanization some of these activities, mm -hmm. uh, policies should be formulated to make them lighter and more uh, suitable to, to the ladies. If it is mechanization, the youth can be, they can see it more enjoyable. And a lot of youth will be encouraged in farming. If it is using the tractors, plowing, the youth will enjoy a lot. Sarin is a government, Kine is a, at least, Yondoei at Lazima Mwekikundi. Yani a youth, akiwa tu peke yake individual, akiza pewa pesa, yani za kujimudu, and uneza, uneza ata shika hiyo ikavitano, ukiwa peke yako, juna juna yasa, shida nye iko kwa mayutu wengi, ni pesa ndiyo hatuna. Na tena, hata hizo mashamba, hatuna. Lakini ukipata zile youth fund, uneza kombo hiyo shamba, after this training, which is being provided by the CIP, I'm going back to my group and educate them the procedures that we are going to undertake so that we can register our group as a satisfied seed producers.